When Sharon Hershkowitz and her husband both lost their jobs, she started blowing up balloons in her Brooklyn living room and delivering them. That was the beginning of the Balloon Saloon. Today, the delivery trucks of the Tribeca-based business are a common sight in the streets, servicing clients and world-renowned events throughout New York City. I'm Sharon Hershkowitz, the founder of Balloon Saloon. Balloon Saloon is the greatest balloon decorating company in the city. We do giant events. We've done balloons for the Macy's Day Parade. We do balloons for every occasion, every film, TV. Geraldo told me to supervise the balloons. Hey, you, get those balloons up there. I'm the daughter of two Holocaust survivors. They came here to America on a boat. My father bought a house in Canarsie, sight unseen. I went to Brooklyn College. Um, my degree was in psychology. I never thought that I would start a business. I started this business in 1978 with my husband in the back of my living room in Brooklyn. We were out of work. We went into the balloon business. It was a lark. Nobody was doing it. There was no balloon industry. Working from my home in Brooklyn was challenging, and I had two little kids at that time, crawling around and dealing with orders, phones, making sure we were getting paid for everything. It wasn't the optimum place to work. And then we came here to Tribeca, which is on West Broadway and Duane Street. All right, we're building a funky arch now. We got the curlies, we're ready to roll. Are we building this inside or outside? We're gonna build it outside, right next to the Perfect. Park. Yes, I do, Nick. Can you tie this onto the wire over there? Let me have that test, because this will look really cute for a backdrop. Look at that's cool. What do you think? Ta -da. Ta -da. Uh, when we first started out uh, doing uh, business here, we were selling just candies, balloons, simple balloons, and a friend of my husband suggested to me that I go to a balloon university. If I ever wanted to be somebody, I needed to make balloon decor. So I did. I went there. I got my CBA, which is Certified Balloon Artist. We were very fortunate to be in this location in Tribeca for 38 years now, and we've seen the neighborhood change from blue-collar workers to families with little children. And they come in and they see a Mr. Potato Head, a Slinky, an Easy Bake Oven, all of those things that made them happy when they were little. These are cool retro gifts. Okay, They're going to love this. We've just done the Gay Pride Parade. We do deliveries for birthdays, any occasion that you want to make someone happy and joyful. We've done 10,000 balloon drops for Madison Square Garden. We do thousands and thousands and thousands of balloons all over the place, every day. Every event that we do is custom. Balloon Saloon here, our retail store, is where we operate here, and we prepare a lot of balloons, but all of the main events generally get blown on location. And we have trucks that deliver the equipment, deliver the staff. Let's go. Yay, Oculus, here we come. Whoa, only thing is I can't see that well. Let me flip this over. Woo! Every day I wake up, I have gratitude for my parents, what they taught me about business, about taking risks. And because of their tenacity and just great appreciation for life, they taught me the positive effect of having passion, of work ethic, being kind to other people. And because I have that kind of ability, I'm able to bring that to my work. Do you need more lift or are you good? I feel that their hardships that they've gone through in their life are so great that anything I'm going to encounter pales by comparison. So it's made me a strong woman, and I'm happy for that every day of my life. One Thanksgiving, when we were doing balloons for all of the Macy's Day Parade, uh, my husband passed away a week prior, and I knew I had to manage this entire crew to get the Macy's Thanksgiving Day event going. And I did that in spite of my gr great heartache. But I knew that he would want me to carry on, and I persevered, and I did it. And from that experience, I think I've gained an even greater strength, realizing 
wow, that's really a tough blow, but I got it done. When 9-11 happened, they used this store as a triage uh, to help people. I saw people coming covered with white powder all over them, and we were frantic thinking the buildings would fall down West Broadway, and it was just a really horrific scene. We thought, gee, how is this neighborhood going to recover? What a profound loss. But you know what? I always felt, even for myself, coming from Holocaust parents, that I was like a flower being born out of a volcano of ash. And that's how this city revived itself. New York City does offer challenges to any entrepreneur beginning a business here. However, it does offer so many unique benefits, and it really fuels your creativity. You always have to be on your toes. You always have to be alert. You have to be ahead of your game. You always have to look and see how you can improve. You can never stay static. New York is always up. It's not a sleepy town. For women going into business in Manhattan, understand that there's never going to be an equal balance where, oh, okay, my kids and my husband are taken care of, my business is taken care of. It's always a seesaw where sometimes they're going to get this much and sometimes they're going to get that much and you have to deal with it. And you have to have this passion that drives you. You really need to have that in your heart where you know you're going to do your best. Every transaction, every person that walks into the store, every phone call you scope out, every client you see on location, and then your final delivery has to be absolutely perfect. Looks nice. turn around and say, wow, look at what I created. And that kind of self-satisfaction of changing a space, the whole energy in it, is what drives me to do a great job. If it's raining, you're going to be your own umbrella. That's it.